Good morning! I am coming at you with a vlog style intro because I just moved. If you didn't already know, you can watch my February vlog in the description below. But I did just move, so I have no idea where my tripods are. I do know where my camera is, but my camera is pretty useless without a tripod. So that's why I'm filming on my phone, and that's why the clips you'll see after is all going to be on my iPhone 11 Pro Max. Just thought I'd throw that disclaimer in there in case you're curious. So I just tried the new Glossier Sky Wash, which you will see me try in the next clip. In the past for beauty products, I usually do an unboxing first impression. So I thought I'd do something different this time. And this is also the exact kind of product that I enjoy using on a daily basis. So I really wanted to see it in action and I wanted to show you as well. So without further ado, I'm just going to get into the next clip. about four hours since I put on the sky wash color in Terra. I think I think that's what it's called and I've commuted to work and I've really just sat at my desk because it's been a really busy morning but on my right eye as you remember is my eyeshadow primer and my left eye does not have any so you can see on my left eye that maybe not super clearly i'll insert a picture right here so you can see a little bit more clearly um the color has definitely started to transfer a little bit and along the creases of my eyes it's not too bad i've definitely had experiences with eyeshadow who that has done worse so this is not too bad for a four hour wear and then on my right eye where there is eyeshadow primer there has been a little bit of creasing like at the top. You can't even see it on the video. So I'll insert a picture of my right eye right here as well. But so far so good, like the color is still super vibrant. So still loving it. So it is now two o'clock. I just came back from lunch where I was sitting in the sun, enjoying the weather, which was super nice and getting wind blown in my face. And it's been about seven hours since I put on the eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna insert pictures because I think it'll just be way clearer, but the left eye with no eyeshadow primer is starting to bunch and crease. Actually, you can see that pretty well. Um, and so some of the color is rubbing off and falling off onto the crease, which sucks, but you can see that, you know, when my eyes open, it's still pretty much pigmented. So it's not like really affecting the way I look to other people. 
And then on the right eye, um, it's kind of transferred a little bit on the corner here, but for the most part, it looks pretty much the same as when I initially applied it. That is my second check-in of the day, and hopefully you can find it kind of helpful. <sighs> it has been 11 hours. Oh my god, my brain is so tired. It has been 11 hours since I put this on. This is a terrible angle, so I'm gonna hold it up. I'm tired, so. I've had dinner, I've kind of chilled out a bit, and now it's time for me to take my makeup off. So before I do that though, I definitely want to do another check-in with you guys, just to kind of show you what, after about 11, I wish 12 hours of wear, how this product from Glossier has fared. I'm gonna insert photos here because again, those photos will show a much clearer picture, but, it's basically bunched completely around my eyelid crease now versus, you know, early in the day when I did my second check-in, it was just kind of on the, like this half. Um, and as a reminder, this is the eye that does, ha does not have eyeshadow primer. So it's basically entirely just transferred away from above where I had initially placed it and below. So all the color has grouped into my crease, which, obviously sucks um but you can see that i mean in terms of you know color you can still see i'm wearing eyeshadow on that eye so it's not like it's completely disappeared and then in terms of what's happened under my eye for the most part the color is basically gone but i will say that i definitely rubbed my eye like the corner of my eyes a little bit during the day i didn't like fully you know rub or anything but i definitely had a moment where i was like kind of like playing like doing this or whatever so I cannot say 100% that that's why all of the under eye was gone, but if I insert a picture of my initial application, you can see that I had applied color all the way around. So it really does not make sense for most of the color under my eyes to be gone if I'm only, you know, playing around with the corners. So anyways, that's the left eye. And here is the right eye. I'm gonna move my camera. Here is my hair. Um, the right eye that had the eyeshadow primer. And again, I will insert a photo right there. Um, but you can see in like just kind of straight on that my right eye's color is just way more vibrant and in general way better looking. Um, it's It doesn't look like I spent an entire day with the same eyeshadow or I mean, it still does, but at least it looks a little bit more fresh as if I had just initially applied it. So if I close my eyes, and again, I will insert a photo, but if I close my eyes here, you can see that it still has a little bit of bunching in the crease, but it is not that bad. And you can see, you know, under the eyes, the color is all still there. And if you remember, when I was initially putting eyeshadow primer, I actually had a little bit left over. So I always usually put some eyeshadow primer under my skin here because I do like to apply eyeshadow under my eye. So that's the reason why compared to my left eye where there is very, very little color left under here, there's way more color vibrancy right here. So that is my final check-in. So as you can tell, um, wearing eyeshadow primer definitely does help the longevity of the sky wash. I will be trying the color echo in the next clip. Um, I'm sorry that this video is so long, but I want to make sure that I'm giving you guys my fullest review and honestly, the most honest review as well. So I think I am liking the product so far. So if you're just interested in where, knowing, you know, whether or not I like it or not, I do. And I think I am going to be recommending it unless after trying out the color Echo, I hate it for some reason, which I don't really foresee it happening, but that is my review of at least this color and the formula so i hope that helps and i will see you guys in the next clip
it's around two o'clock right now. It's been about seven hours since I initially put on this eyeshadow. And since I had eye primer on both eyes, right now it looks great. There's actually not as much skipping as the eyeshadow I wore yesterday that had the eyeshadow primer. So maybe I didn't put enough primer on my right eye yesterday. But so far so good, and the color still looks super vibrant as you can tell, but I'll insert a picture of my eyelids right here as well. Yeah, I mean, I love this color. This is like the perfect brown eyeshadow for me, so there's that. <sighs> okay, it is 5 p.m. and I've been so busy at work that I haven't been able to do a second check-in, but I am going to do my second check-in right now. And as I'm looking at it in the mirror right there, it honestly still looks as good as when I did my initial check-in at 2 p.m. But I do notice a little bit of bunching in my crease. So that happened yesterday as well for the eye that had eyeshadow primer. So I'm not super surprised. But I do notice the eyeshadow bunching to be a lot less than yesterday. Um, so I don't know if it's because one, I've been indoors all day, so I haven't really been exposed to the elements Or two, if I just put in a lot more eyeshadow primer today than I did yesterday uh, I'm gonna insert a picture of what it looks like right now That is my check-in After 10 hours of wear, it still looks pretty good So it's been about 12 hours since I initially put on the eyeshadow, which means right now it's about 7.30 p.m. And honestly, it looks amazing and again i will insert some pictures right here yeah honestly it looks amazing when i look in the mirror it looks seriously just as good if not better as when i'm just wearing regular brown powder eyeshadow so given that i've tried both colors i can actually finally give you guys my official review of this product first of all in terms of application I think that it is super, super easy to apply. You can see in the application process from this morning that when you put it on, on your eyelid directly using the dome foot, it goes on super, super shiny. And you know, immediately freaks you out because it's supposed to be a matte eyeshadow, right? But as you blend it out, it will become more and more matte. But something to keep in mind is that while you're blending it, it might seem like the color is skipping or something, but actually it isn't um, because the color is supposed to be a very light wash. So as you're blending it out with your finger, the pigmentation will not be as strong as when you initially apply it all over the eyelid. And that kind of brings me to another point, which is you can tell that when I applied that I did not apply like across my eyelid i only applied a little bit in the center and then just kind of blended so that's something else to keep in mind is that you don't need a lot in terms of application you can see it more during me applying echo this morning in that when i initially applied it on my eyelid i used my finger and just kind of rubbed it all over and blended it out and then the color was a little bit light for me so if you want a super light wash of color, that's perfect, right? Like you don't have to go beyond that, but I wanted a little bit more pigment concentrated on the, the middle of my eyelid. So what I did was I ended up going back, kind of dotted some more color in the corner and just ended up patting it and patted it until it became matte and became blended. After that, I noticed that the pigmentation when you're patting it is a lot more stronger. So. If that's what you're interested in, I definitely recommend a padding motion if you do want that super, super, you know, strong pigment. Once it is blended and once it has dried though, I do notice that it's harder to budge. If, you know, you like to travel, this is also the perfect travel eyeshadow because you don't have to worry about it shattering while you're traveling. And then I think in terms of the price, I believe it was $16. If it isn't, I'll put it on the screen somewhere what the actual price is, which isn't too bad for someone like me who just kind of wants to throw one eyeshadow color across the lid and call it a day. This product is perfect. So that is going to be my review and try on of 
the new Glossier Sky Wash. I really, again, do recommend it. This video is not sponsored by Glossier. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I just genuinely wanted to try this product and share my review with you. So anyways, I hope this video was helpful for you. And if you have any further questions about this product, definitely let me know in the comments below. It's very late at night for me. I know I just said it's 7.30, but I'm so exhausted. So I definitely might have missed giving you guys some information that would have been helpful. But otherwise, I will see you next Sunday for another video. Bye!